This green stone may be tiny, but it's one of the most powerful forces in the universe. It's responsible for all life and creation of Moana's islands and our whole planet, known as the heart of Tefiti, our goddess of nature and all living things. Most of you already know the story of Tefiti and Moana and Maui, but I think you're forgetting one small fact. It's the story of a young demigod named Maui. And thousands of years ago, when life was still finding its way across the islands, started hearing rumors of a magical and powerful force that was responsible for creating this life and all of the islands. Life continued to flourish and grow on the islands. So did people's greed and envy. Asked who was responsible for this. Where is all this magic and power coming from? People traveled far and wide to find Tefiti and steal her heart of all her power. Then a young shapeshifter showed up, named Maui, who was determined to steal the heart. Back then, he was immature, ignorant, and arrogant. He was confident, a little bit overly confident, and didn't think about the consequences of what he was doing. He stole the heart and ran off with it. The whole irony in Moana won because he's actually the one who helped save it in the end with Moana. Without her heart, Tefiti was filled with rage and wrath was her power gone, but it was like all life was stripped from her, and she became Teka. That day forward, she was no longer the goddess of life and creation, but now the goddess of destruction. It's also the day that Maui lost his fish hook, which is what gives him his shape-shifting powers. Thousands of years later, the ocean delivered the heart of Tefiti to Moana, so that she would take good care of it and return it to its rightful owner. And Maui, still being a little bit self-absorbed, helped her find Tefiti. He wanted to find his fish hook again. Their journey together made them stronger and wiser. Maui learned from his past mistakes and even wound up apologizing to Tefiti. Maui even grew a heart and started caring for other people other than himself. Tefiti, of course, still remembered what Maui did years ago. But she wound up accepting his apology and moving on and even fixed his fish hook for him, which Maui, of course, gladly accepted. And that's the story of how Maui became the hero we know today. Full kudos to Moana for bringing all the good stuff out of him and bringing kindness and magic back to Tefiti's heart. She not only saved Maui from his own darkness, but also saved all of her islands from the darkness and death that was plaguing them recently. One is the best and the actual hero of this whole story. I can't wait to see her in Moana too. It's coming out November 27th. Make sure to check it out too.